Hello everybody, welcome back to the Shabby Shack. In this video, we're doing a faux log. You're going to need a heat gun, glue gun, exacto knife, paint, and a pool noodle. We're going to start by cutting us a length of pool noodle that we want for our log. Once that's cut, we've got to cut some little plugs to put in the end of the pool noodle. So I cut some little plugs for it. Cut your plugs a little bigger because the hot glue does melt the opening. We're going to go in here with some hot glue. Try to use low temper if you can. And put your plug in. I did have to stuff more foam in that opening. Now you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to score your pool noodle. Do not cut all the way through. Just scratch scrape the surface with your blade going down maybe an eighth of an inch at most and give yourself cuts all over this pool noodle but not all the way through remember that y'all do not cut all the way through you're only scoring the surface once that's done you're going to go around the ends and give yourself some scores on the end Now you're going to take your heat gun and you're going to put it on low heat and you're going to slowly run it over the pool noodle. What you're doing is you're melting the noodle and opening up those score lines. Watch close and you'll see this begin to melt and the score lines opening up. Only takes a minute to do this. You're going to see the knot hole that we cut there open up. Make sure to do your ends where you've put the caps also. Because you're opening up that round score line on the end also. Now, the first layer of painting that we're going to do is we're going to do black and we're going to make sure that we get all those score lines completely covered inside. Once we have the log painted black, we're going to go over it with some gray. And this is where you're going to begin to see all your score lines really showing out and making it look like wood. Right now this looks like an old burnt log. Now we're going to go over it with white. And this is what's going to really start bringing the color out. You can use white, brown, whatever colors you want. You can take more time to do the painting technique on yours. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm only doing three colors on it. But you can take time to really get in there and make yours look like natural wood. These would look so cute in a little bundle tied in a pretty little uh, ribbon put on your fireplace. Don't forget to do the ends of your logs. I'm going to dry this down a little bit and guys here's what my finished log looks like. Like I said, take time, do more knot holes, do it upright. Please like sh and share the video.